Hi everyone, my name is Nick, and today I have another house plan unboxing for you guys, this time from my friends at The Potted Elephant, which is a nursery out of Portland, Oregon, and I'm going to link their webpage as well as their Etsy shop below, and they do some really awesome plants, so if you're a plant collector, I highly recommend checking them out. We have a box full of goodies right here, I'm really excited to get into it, and I actually have the list all ready to go of the plants that are inside, and I'm really excited to see these wonderful plants. So let's go ahead and just get inside this box. So I'm gonna start with this little itty bitty one right here. And of course I'm choosing to do this on my bed which has a white comforter so this is gonna go really well. But it's all about the fun. And I haven't done a house plan unboxing in a pretty long time so I'm excited to go ahead and get inside this box. Alrighty. Quite a few plants in here. I'm shocked how they fit so many in here. It's very exciting. So this first one is ah, this is a little begonia, and of course, getting a little bit of soil on my bed. So I'm gonna have to clean up after this. But this is such an adorable little begonia. I'll hold it up for you guys. I'm gonna look at my list. I'm pretty sure this is begonia iron cross. If you can see all of the hairs on this leaf, it's so phenomenal, and even the the stem or the petiole is quite hairy. It kind of reminds me of a, a philodendron squamiferum, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, I'm really starting to appreciate these little fuzzy plants. I know some people get kind of freaked out by them, but I think they're just so incredible. And I've really been wanting to get into begonias lately, so this is a wonderful little way to start out my begonia collection that I am just very slowly amassing. So gonna have to put this one on the floor I guess that is such an adorable little begonia I actually want to pull that back up for a second because I'm just like so amazed at how beautiful this plant is and how little it comes so it's really easy to ship and then it's fantastic for my home because I'm overloaded on plants so the smaller the better at this point and I'm super stoked about this this is this is so adorable I'm already one plant in it was probably the smallest one in the box and I'm already I'm already thrilled all right so I'm gonna have to cut this one out because they actually tape uh, the plants into the box so that they can be more snug in place and not shifting around during shipping which I really appreciate I think it's very smart so we have a little chonky one right here. Let's go ahead and see what's hiding in this one. It's another little begonia. Oh my goodness. This one, this one must be special because it's got some, some extra padding, but this, hold on, let me just take the padding off so we can get a better look at it. So we have this stunning little begonia right here. I'm not positive on which one this is. I'll know after I open the next begonia because there's two more begonias on this list. I believe this is Begonia Hybrid Aragon, and if I'm incorrect, I'll have the, the correct name below, but this is just phenomenal looking. That's my word of the day. I think that's my word of every day, but these little leaves are very succulent. It's actually quite surprising to see how succulent they are. I really love the kind of like sunset colors that they have. Um, a red underside. I'm a sucker for a plant with a different color underside, so this is this is really, really cool. I've never seen this one before. Uh, it's beautiful. So I'm really excited about this one. Oh my goodness, hopefully I can keep these begonias alive. I've never really cared for begonias much before. I have a couple in my home. I'm more used to growing angel wing begonias, but in the last couple of months I've recently gotten a begonia contrafolia, and I love that thing. It's great, so I've been wanting to try out some more begonias because they are really something else. I didn't really understand begonias at first, but I am, <laughs> I am understanding them now, let me tell you. All right, let's go ahead and we have another little one right here. Ah! Okay, so we're gonna backtrack because I'm pretty sure this is actually Begonia erythrophila. I'm sorry if any of you are screaming at your screens like, no, that's not right, Nick, because this is Begonia erythrophila, and then right here we have Begonia Aragon, so I am so sorry, I got them mixed up, but here's a little Begonia Aragon with this red coloration. <laughs> 
that that's beautiful and then pulling this one back up so this is just so we can like you know talk about it correctly the erythrophila begonia i actually saw this at um the philadelphia flower show and i really really enjoyed it it was a little bit more um adult let's say so this one is kind of like cuttings so you can see the little the large stem that they had cut and it's growing these little baby plants out so that's probably why i didn't necessarily recognize it because it's they're they're rather young but um yeah, I, I think this is phenomenal. I'm so excited to see this one grow. And if it looks anything like the plants at the Philadelphia Flower Show, I am in for a treat. But then just hopping back to this Begonia Aragon, this red coloration, this is phenomenal. I think I need to stop saying phenomenal. I need to choose another word, Nicholas. Uh, I think I need to make a terrarium with this. I think this is just begging to be in a terrarium. But this, this is great. I might actually put this outside. I have a very heavily shaded patio and... Um, this deeply deep red metallic color tells me this is gonna love that deep shaded area So I think that will really spice up my little patio courtyard area that I have in my home So we got three little begonias to start out. I'm pretty sure that is all of the begonias that we have today So hopefully I will not be mixing up any more plants Although it was very nice of them to send me this list along with it because that is helping me from looking like even more of a fool another little one right here and i'm loving these little plants because that means i can fit more of them in my home and it's less surface space to take up that's very important to me <sighs> oh my goodness this is so cute okay this is i'm really gonna have to clean up some dirt off my bed later this is a pilea this is pilea believe pilea leprechaun so this is uh, very similar to like um the artillery fern pilea it's probably some type of uh, cultivar of that but it's just a little bit more finer and ferny oh my gosh i feel like these two plants would look so good in a terrarium together so that might be my project this week my quarantine project of the week we're still in quarantine here in philadelphia I, it's probably not going to be that much longer but enough time that i can enjoy sitting down and making a terrarium with these goodies oh my goodness this is just so fantastic this is totally my vibe because this is very much like a a woodlandy plant you know that kind of like ferny or like ficus repens kind of style plant that just doesn't necessarily look like belongs on a tropical island but more so in like the northeast of the united states this is totally my vibe so really beautiful little pilea um i find pilea is a little difficult to grow myself um some of the more finer ones but if you do have like a greenhouse setting or a terrarium setting these things will grow like a weed so that's my tip from me to you Okay, we have a couple more in this box. I believe we have three more. Well, you guys know I am a sucker for a peperomia. And the potted elephant must know that as well. Because they sent me this peperomia raspberry ripple. And that is so incredible. Peperomia caparatos are so lovely. And this one with this pink splashing to the leaves. Oh, that is just... That is just really something else. I hope you guys can really get a, a good look at this plant because this pink coloration is just to die for. It's even more red than the Peperomia caparata luna red, which is very red, but this one uh, sports some kind of variegation, if you will, uh, instead. I think that is just so cool. So, oh my gosh, I feel like maybe this one could join that terrarium with the begonia and the pilea. I think the Peperomia has a little bit different care than the pilea and the begonia so let's scratch that this one will probably live by itself but <laughs> this is just so fantastic i'm obsessed with this little pink peperomia this leaf right here i don't know if you guys can get a good look at this leaf in particular but i am just obsessed with that splashing it's so great seeing that red and that green together it's it's really phenomenal and i should mention that the potted elephant is an lgbt run company and i really enjoy that and i'm a very big supporter of gay run companies and you should be too so i highly recommend checking them out for many other reasons as well but that one is a very big reason to support them so let's see what else we have here this is a very hefty cutting of ripsalis paradoxa and they have a 
huge, huge plant of this growing at the Potted Elephant. You can see it on their Instagram, and I actually talked about it on my houseplant wish list video, which this was actually a um, plant in that video or a plant on my wish list that I have now acquired. As you can see, thank you very much, Corey and John from the Potted Elephant, for uh, giving me a wish list plant. I really appreciate that. But uh, they have such a hefty, beautiful plant, so you have to go to their Instagram, which I will also link in my description below to check out that, as well as all of the other mother plants that they grow, uh, because they have some really fantastic specimens. You will be in awe. This, this is fantastic though. This is just like uh, reaching up and slowly over time it'll start to send out even more shoots and start to curl its way down like a waterfall like we see all those Ripsalis on Instagram. So this is so awesome. I'm so excited about this plant. It's a great way to almost end this unboxing because we do have one more plant left. And last but not least... Uh, Yay, it's another Peperomia. So this one is a Peperomia. They call this one Peperomia Little Fantasy. It's got kind of a very similar look to like a Peperomia Fraseri or a Peperomia Meridiana. I actually just killed a Peperomia Meridiana, so it's a fantastic replacement because I actually do really need something to replace where it was because I totally forgot about it. So I'm not going to forget about this Peperomia Little Fantasy. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I, I really love the size pots that they send their plants in because this could so easily fit into a small four inch terracotta pot or a very small uh, ceramic planter or something that they get from the thrift store, which a lot of the plants that come in four inch pots, which is the standard size that you'll see, they can be a little hard to fit into a terracotta pot, at least, you know, if you're trying to give your plant the best intentions. So this will so easily fit into a smaller pot as well as pretty much all of these other plants that I've gotten a hold of. So that's fantastic because, as I mentioned, I'm running out of space in my home, so the smaller the better. I am so excited about all these plants. I'm going to have to let them acclimate to my home for just a couple of days, perhaps a week or two, and then I will go ahead and pot them up. Probably going to make a terrarium out of the begonia and the pilea. Uh, I think they will look so good together. Or maybe I'll just go ahead and pot them up and put them in my courtyard because they will definitely flourish down there. But nevertheless, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about <laughs> mixing up the begonias. I'm sure you, you begonia people out there are gonna be like, wanting to just reach through your screens and just smack me across the face, but roast me, I don't care. But thank you guys so much. Be sure to check out The Potted Elephant. I'll leave all the links below. Thank you guys again for watching. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great time.